Good morning. John here. Juliet Oscar November. I'm sitting in my at my desk in my ham radio shack. And I am going to describe my beginning planning for making the Great Loop trip. For those of you who don't know what the Great Loop is, it's a um, it's a trip you take by boat and you go around Florida. In my case, I'm going to go across Florida through the Okeechobee Waterway up the Atlantic Intercoastal Waterway to Norfolk and then you continue north you go through the Chesapeake Bay you go through the parts of the Delaware Canal and you get dumped out about 30 miles south of New York Harbor where you make a run of about 30 miles right into New York Harbor you go right by the Statue of Liberty up the Hudson River all the way to Albany and then in my case I'm going to take the Erie Canal uh, my boat is uh, low enough that it can fit through underneath all the bridges on the Erie Canal. I'm going to take the Erie Canal all the way from Waterford, New York to Tonawanda, New York, which is near Buffalo. Some people go north up uh, Lake Champlain, and then there's a canal that goes up through Oswego. takes you to um, Lake Ontario, and you can go up uh, through the Trent Severn Canal into the Georgian Bay and places like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to Lake Erie. Uh, from Buffalo and I'll go down I'll probably stop at Erie Pennsylvania maybe Conneaut Ohio and then on to Cleveland and then west uh, out into the islands area around Sandusky and I have some old friends out there and I plan on going to Kelly's Island uh, South Bass Island and maybe Middle Bass Island there's a lot of changes I used to live on Kelly's Island and so I hope to see some of my old friends and then I continue north uh, toward the Amherstburg Ontario where you hit the mouth of the Detroit River. I'll go up the Detroit River, through Detroit, uh, out through Lake St. Clair, and then up the uh, St. Clair River, past Port Huron and Sarnia, Ontario. I'll probably stop in Sarnia. It's one of my favorite places. And then up the shore of Lake Huron, I may go over to Goderich, Ontario, which is on the eastern shore of Lake Ontario, just to take a look. Anyway, you go up uh, all the way up Lake Huron, go underneath the Mackinac bridge. Uh, I may stop at Mackinac Island. Then you go around the tip of Michigan. You go down Lake Michigan all the way to the south end and then you shoot across to Chicago. You go out through the Chicago Sanitary Ship Canal <laughs> uh, and then down the Illinois River to the Mississippi. You take the Mississippi River south past St. Louis till you come to um, Cairo, Illinois, where you turn north on the Ohio River and you go up the Ohio River to either the Tennessee or else the Cumberland River. They're both very close together. Most people go to the Cumberland. It's a little further north but there's less barge traffic uh, on the Cumberland River whereas the the uh, locks at um, uh, on the Tennessee River going into Kentucky Lake are very busy with lots of uh, big toes and so you end up waiting and things, things like that. Then you go down the Kentucky Lake all the way to the end and then you um, end up on the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway which takes you south um, and you go all the way south and you end up in the at the head of Mobile Bay down through Mobile Bay uh, till you hit the uh, Gulf Intercoastal Waterway and in my case I'll go east toward Florida and I will end up at Apalachicola Florida which is where I'm starting from so it's pretty exciting and I'm in the planning stages now getting all my navigation gear put together, um, studying charts, um, getting my boat ready. I'll talk about that in a later video. But it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I've got, I'm probably going to leave about uh, mid-April, 1st of May of 2018, so I've got the rest of the winter to get the boat ready and get all my preparations made. I'll be doing a lot of it by myself. Um, some, some people will come along for a few days or a week or so at a time. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an exciting trip, um, and everybody who I've ever... Uh, read about. I've really never actually talked to anybody who's done it, but everyone says it's exciting and it's a spectacular journey and if you ever have a chance you should do it. So um, it'll probably take me about six months, maybe a little longer. Um, I may stop in the in the midst, I probably will, uh, and come home for a little while. But uh, anyway, um, it's a little nerve-wracking. I'm a little nervous about it, a little anxiety here, um, but um, I'm excited too. So I've, I've coined a new word and I've called it myself anxiety, and that is full of anxiety while being excited. So 
that's the, uh, what I've got in mind. And in later videos, I'll describe the boat and the process and what I have gone through and what I will be going through in the future to pull this thing all together. So also, I hope to post videos along the way of some of the beautiful spots that I see and some of the experiences that I have. So please subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. And hopefully uh, it'll be pretty exciting and hopefully very interesting and you'll get to see some beautiful scenery and be able to travel along with me in a vicarious fashion. So goodbye for now. More later.